Hello. I'm Nair. And I'm Bello. And we are Perspective. And today we wanted to talk about Tenchi Moyo again. We're going to do a Holy Nostalgia Part 2. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And talk about the majority of the show, which I forgot. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we both have now watched at least the first season of the OVA. Yeah, the OVA Ryuoki from 1992. Yes. <laughs> I also watched the movie Tenchi Forever in Love, something like that, because I had talked about it in the previous video, so I wanted to make sure to watch that. I have not watched the movie. But she did start the second- Season two. Yeah. Which I couldn't find again. I don't know. We were popping it. Shh. Don't tell the cops. Sporting crime. No. (laughs) Nair Bello. You heard it here for his perspective. Anyway. But it was funny. (laughs) Oh, uh, anyway. So, yeah, Tenchi. Uh, wow, I did not remember that much nudity. Me, I mean, Nips for days, nips for days. Yes, like straight up. And I think it was episode three and I was like, what? And perverted in some places in ways that I didn't remember it being. Like his dad trying to record him having... Sex with Ryoko, which they didn't do, but he was hoping for and had a camera outside his window, like a total creep. And I'm like, that's your son. What? What? Yeah. Well, it sort of brings me back to Oh My Goddess, the OVA in that way. Mm -hmm. Um, In that... Just some inappropriate stuff. The demon woman. That she was very handsy and pressury. Oh, Ryoko, yeah. Towards Tenchi and very much hanging all over him and stuff, which I remembered like the hugging and stuff, but not quite to the extent that it was. You remembered with the innocent rose tinted glasses of youth, yeah, Mm -hmm. exactly. And yeah, then that was completely dashed when I got to episode three and it was just bathhouse and titties all day (laughs) like I was like wow and not even just like oh flesh toned lumps it was nah there was straight up lined nipply Mm -hmm. nipples and I was like same with the mg yeah same with the movie when I watched it as I did actually remember there was full frontal nudity in the movie too and it was as I remembered scene oh yeah oh Oh, it was in that there was multiple scenes like that no the one with the ribbon no no i never found the ribbon episode i still don't know if that was all my goddess tenchi or something completely different around the same time guys she imagined it this whole time i think it would do well in anime (laughs) (laughs) anyway so i didn't hate it to be honest guys i'm interested in watching tenchi universe which i believe is the revamped version Sort of how Oh My Goddess released a few years later with an extended cut that actually lasted multiple episodes a season, multiple seasons. I'd actually be interested in watching Tenchi Universe to see how things change from the OVA to the uncut. (laughs) Well, the regular show. Yeah. So, Bella, is it a harem? (laughs) I guess it is a harem, guys, but really, I didn't remember it being like that. And I didn't remember the pilot being in love with him, but she actually was like, oh, Mr. Tenchi-san saved me. Mm -hmm. And I must be my destiny. Yeah, exactly. And it seemed like she sort of dropped it after that. And I remembered Washu. I don't know why that's the name I remember, which is... Ryoko's creator. Yeah, Ryoko's mom or creator, whatever. A little bit uh, of both. Having that mommy dommy seduction, like, I could take Tenchi if I wanted to kind of scene. It was on the dock in that episode. You remember? With the baby. I think I think that was the episode where they babysat the kid. I don't know what you're talking about, so it might have been part of the... Season, season two. two. Yeah, it must have been um, part of season maybe. two. But yeah, so I did find that scene and she did hit on him and everything. But I guess the reason I didn't remember it 
very much with the pilot and not to that extent I guess with Washu was because it's very much like it shows it and then the show sort of lets it go doesn't dwell on it whereas with the princess and Ryoko and Ryoko it's sort of like that's a ongoing theme throughout the show is them sort of fighting back and forth over him trying to impress him that kind of stuff and we might have actually watched just the OVA and then me also watching the movie so that might be part of why we did not remember certain people like the green-haired co-pilot she's not in the OVA one of our commenters actually mentions that the OVA is not based on a manga it is its own thing that was written first. Oh, wow. And then, yeah, everything else came afterward, which <clears throat> is very surprising because you almost never see that yeah, in anime. Yeah, that's not the typical progression. So kind of everybody else came afterward, was added. So I thought that was really neat. The commenter shared a good bit of facts about different anime that I thought was interesting. So feel free to check out the comments on our Holy Nostalgia Tenchi Muyo Part 1. oh and so nair was sort of right and i was sort of right about remembering a ship coming out of a tree Mm -hmm, is what nair mm -hmm. said and then i remembered the ship coming out of the lake Mm -hmm. and that the little creature turned into a ship which was also correct so if you guys happen to go watch the ova and find it somewhere on the internet you'll see that the ship is activated through a signal in the tree and wakes up through it and that the grandfather is actually the princess's half-brother that she was engaged to that is, what did they say, 400, 700 years old? I think 700. Yeah, so I guess because he's half human the grandfather is he aged differently where the princess is more towards the immortal end i think she was also kept in stasis at certain points i don't know if that had something to do with well they talked about in the show that he knew his longevity was different and that was part of why he wasn't going to stay Mm. i guess because really their father was king of the universe and that there would be a succession battle between them. At least if the he planet of stayed. Jirai. I think he was the king of the planet of Jirai, but No, I think it was everything. Oh, maybe. Like we said, she watched part of season two. I have not, so she might know things that I don't. <laughs> Big surprise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. People know things that I don't. I mean, imagine that. Especially me. <laughs> 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 anyway. So Yeah, the tree was actually the grandfather's ship. Well, the heart of the ship. Yeah, if you remember, I talked about how the princess's ship was made of wood and her bodyguards looked like wooden refrigerators. There actually is like a whole forest on her ship with little animals and creatures and stuff, which now that I think about it, when it crashes... I guess they all died. Dun, 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 dun. Anyway. No, anyway. That's pretty sad. But anyway. Yeah, so his ship crashed and actually the heart of it lived and became a tree and grew out of it. When Ryoko's ship came back, it was an egg is what she called out of the lake. And that egg hatched into what I am going to say is a bunny rabbit creature, even though it's I would say sort a of... cabot, like a cat rabbit. Mm, yeah, yeah, I can see that because it definitely has like claws and stuff. So and meows. Yeah, mm, yeah, it's a hybrid. Basically, is what it looks like. It's a hybrid. It's a space cabot. Um, mm-hmm. And I did remember right that in the movie, the chick was supposed to get with the grandpa as well was supposed to be part of the reason that he left was to be with her because for some reason they couldn't be together on planet Jirai, I guess because he was already engaged to Princess Aika. But yeah, so a lot of going after the grandpa, but settling for Tenchi because grandpa's old. Yeah, who wants grandpa now? Poor grandpa. Ageism. Terrible thing. 
Anyway, so, yeah, the Cabot did come out of the lake, by mm-hmm. the way, and then went into the lake to transform. And while it is the ship, I guess how they pilot the ship is through these hovering crystals that are in the, I guess, main cabin of the ship. And the hovering crystal is also the Cabot creature. I don't want to call her the Cabot creature. What's mm-hmm. her name? Ryooki. Ryooki. Yeah. So the crystal is actually Ryooki. And you see it in the one episode when the pilot is like, how do I help? How do I help? Because the pilot is very much a blonde blonde. Like. A joke blonde. Yes. So she's like, oh my God, what do we do? I don't know. And so because they're going up against a much better pilot and a better ship and they're scared they're going to lose. They don't know how to pilot the ship. She ends up giving sake, I think, or wine of some some sort to the crystal and getting the whole ship drunk, which I guess is like, Becomes a drunken, drunken master. boxing. Yeah. <laughs> master. And uh, dodging and stuff. And you can't read it anyway. I will say I was also right about Tenchi being very kind. And oh yeah, polite he was. And. Tender hearted. This yes. is what they call him in the movie that I watched. I do think that's a theme. So did you enjoy the OVA? The voice acting was worse than I remembered. But the drawing was better than I expected. And I liked the music. The opening is very of its time. But the other music was pretty good. I don't know what I would rate it, guys. Bello, do you know? How did you feel about it? I'd probably rate it a 7. I mean, it was okay. I enjoyed it. The voice acting is very off-putting. I mean, it was the 90s, guys, okay? Early 90s. Yeah, they didn't have as much technology as we have, and the expectations were definitely not as high. I still really liked it, though, but I was very much, especially during the first few episodes of the OVA, like, wow, that's bad, bad, as far as syncing up to the mouth movements and stuff. Like that, which is something that you hardly even see in anime anymore, honestly. The youngins probably won't even know what we're talking about when we talk about the translation well, issues and not, that... Not even just the, the... whether it matched up or not, but the the voice acting was not good. Yeah, I don't mean like the, the syncing up of the words to the mouth. I mean the voice acting wasn't good. So... At least for me, I'm sorry for those who voice acted it in Tenshi. Okay, don't. Hate oh yeah, me, we're not trying to hurt your feelings. It's it's the product of the times as well. I actually did enjoy it, though. I think I would probably rate it a six and a half, a seven, something like that. It's it's rough going back and watching it as compared to when I was a kid, and I know I loved it as a kid, so. Well, there wasn't a lot out when we were kids either. There is not the plethora, the rainbow oh, of oh, anime selections anime. that, that mm-hmm. exist now that are readily available, easy to stream. I mean, back then you had to have it on a VHS, so. <laughs> or the TV, just hope it came on yeah, TV. Yeah, yeah. And then you so. actually were able to watch it when it came on and didn't miss any of the episodes like I did with DBZ. And yeah. Yeah. Hopefully the almighty tsunami would help you so that does go into part of it but I mean I actually enjoyed it I didn't mind it I like the storyline I'm curious to see if Tenchi universe is a great improvement all right guys I think that's it for us for holy nostalgia Tenchi Moyo part two we'll see you later (laughs)